man of 93 years a short verbal present who takes grief during his appearance is moving into an old people homes today his wife of 70 has recently died and is afraid to leave his home after waiting several hours in the retirement home lobby he gently smiles as he's told that his room is ready as he slowly walks to the elevator using his cane I describe his small room to him, including the seat hung, the window which serves as a curtain. I like it very much, he says, with the enthusiasm of an eight-year-old boy who has just been given a new puppy. Im Gang, you haven't ever seen the room yet. Hang on a moment, we are almost there. There's nothing to do with that, he replies. Happiness is something I chose in advance. Whether or not I like the room does not depend on the poor nature or the decor, rather it depends on how I decide to see it. It is already decided in my mind that I like my room. It is a decision I take every morning when I wake up. I can choose, I can spend my day in bed enumerating all the difficulties that I have with the parts of my body that no longer work very well. Or I can get up and give thanks to heaven for those parts that are still in working order. Every day is a gift, and as, as long as I can open my eyes, I will focus on the new day and all the happy memories that I have built up during my life. All age is like a bank account. You withdraw in later life what you have deposited along the way. So my advice to you is to deposit all the happiness you can in your bank account of memories. Thank you for your part in filling my account with happy memories, which I am still continuing to feel. Remember these simple guidelines for happiness. Number one, pray your heart from hate. Second thing is free your mind from worry. The third thing is live simply. The fourth is keep more and expect less. If you would like to send this message on, it is the way we touch each other with simple trust that spreads goodness in the world. Thank you.